In the drought-stricken region of Pukharikalan's hills in Pakistan, agriculture once depended solely on rainfall. But a farmer, Chaudhry Muhammad Irfan, found a solution instead of relying on the sky. Like Kaki. The depth is 20 feet and its length and width. It is spread over approximately 205 canals. And the usable part we can utilize is total. It is 10 feet, which is our canal outlet that extends forward. Through this, we can provide flood and water, whether for fishing farms or orchards. It is our 2 by 2 canal. From it, you could say, uh, throughout the year, we provide water free of cost, which is 7 to 8 kusegza. Their unconscious Muki brothers provided financial assistance for the construction of the dam. There is not even one rupee of involvement from any government or any local person. We have set up this project entirely on our own willpower and and are also operating and maintaining it. To this day, the people we are providing water to are doing so at their own expense, alhamdulillah, and we are providing them with water availability throughout the year. In the Pakistani province of Punjab, underground water is being excessively used. This trend is dangerously lowering the underground water level. The dam built by Irfan at his own expense provides a solution to this problem. It not only conserves rainwater, but also restores underground water reserves. Other farmers say that this dam has changed land values. Here, there used to be very little rain. It is an arid area, sometimes for six months. When it didn't rain, there was a drought-like situation. There was a shortage of water for everyone, including animals. But after the dam was built, now there is the convenience that water is available in the canal for 12 months and is free of cost. Because of this, everyone is able to do their farming. They are also growing vegetables. Despite the success, Irfan's plan faced the displeasure of local authorities and criticism from private landowners. Today, no one has appreciated it. Everyone is creating hurdles. Why have I stored the water for what purpose? Why am I providing it free of cost to people? There are various obstacles, whether from the government or the private sector. No one has given appreciation. They certainly create hurdles here. Despite this, the farmer is determined that he will never stop the supply of water for himself and his village.